It's actually with the person it was supposed to be with, so this is actually really well done. We just didn't know where that person was. So, that was a show. I'm just thinking, but I'm good at when I don't have anything better planned out. All right, Flambeau, do you have any um, pearls of wisdom? Or like, nonsense to, I mean, either way, whatever you like. Good. Hello, so my name's Flambeau and I'm really glad to be here. The yeah. first thing I would like to tell you is that this is our show, thank you, thank you. But our show has many parts to it. That's one scene out of it. Our show like, is about six different warring worlds that come together through one protagonist. So that's a very dark scene, and other scenes are very light, and other scenes have like many different like uh, aspects to them. Unicorns, fairies, all that happy horseshit. <laughs> so we thought that we would bring you like a good, shocking show to show you like one example of like what happens in the calling. And um, you know, like I'm really like glad to like work with so many fire performers because I've been telling some people that I actually am new to the fire festival scene, but I've been doing fire shows for like 25 years, you know. So. is an episodic fire fairy tale. It's got dark stuff in it. It's got really beautiful stuff in it. And we, we think that it's got a, le a lot of lessons that we are learning as we do it and a lot of ritual. And so I'd love for you to like know about it and so forth. I'm really glad that we're here doing this, you know. I feel very welcome and I love it. And we're all fire people in our own way. And that's one thing that's always really appealed to me because I am a fire fire person too. So that's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> I think that like Farcal's wisdom go, I mean I think that like taking fire and being able to like push it into all the different like parts of the entertainment world is really important. It's been my quest for an entire lifetime. Like to like just see what we've got and try and amplify it and like bring it into different places. So I mean like I'd love to like talk to people about that because there's just so much stuff that can be done. Literally, I really, really mean it when I say, because I've lived like virtually an entire life for this, is that we can fucking and set the world on fire. We yeah. 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 Literally spreading like a fire. You know, these, these kinds of things could just be in its seed form right now to be able to come in a big part of culture. So that's my pearl of wisdom, and I really gotta say it. And apart from that, the other thing I've got to say is thank you to all of our performers. Please let's take a bow. <laughs> like to say just a few things. First off, thank you guys so much. It, having, having a good crowd is just so awesome. It gives us the energy to keep going. And even when there's, you know, there's always going to be some tech issue or, or missing a cue or, you know, whatever. It happens. You got to go through it. And, and um, <laughs> right, props that don't light. Um, all, all of the things can go wrong. Um, and for me, it's just such a wonderful thing to have found this group of dedicated, beautiful, wonderful, talented, incredible people, and my best friends in the world. Um, so, Firecraft and company, and Flambeau, who is, who is, he was one of the first to bring fire performing into the US. Uh, I came from Scotland, and I'm, I'm gonna give him a little bit of history on you. Um, when he was 14 years old, over in Scotland, he, uh, he witnessed some gypsies. True story, he witnessed some gypsies coming through his town, doing a traveling fire performance for money. And he's like, whoa, that's it. This is a really bad accent, but seven, seven, I, wow. Okay, so he saw them when he was seven. And he's like, wow, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've got to do that for the rest of my life. And, uh, and here he is, doing it for the rest of his life.
as well, can we have one final group out? We've done some weird things on stage so far. And uh, I want to have like one final happy, go lucky, feel good for all peace loving hippies here, look at my jacket sort of moment. <laughs> Are we all here? Do we all, everyone who's here who cares? Close enough? Yes, yes, yes. Good! Come into the light, you are too far off stage. No, let's try. More, more stage presence. <laughs> Tremendous. I'm actually not important right now, so I'm gonna piss off. And I was, I was here. I was here. Do we get to hold hands? Because otherwise, I feel like super uncomfortable. Oh, that was super good. And on, on the count of bow, bow. <laughs> Yeah. Like, Bye, everyone.